Hola, let's talk about some tips and tricks to do well on the AP Spanish Language and Culture exam. And today we're going to look at the free response spoken section and specifically the simulated conversation. So this is the first part of section 2B and it is an interpersonal speaking section, which means you will hear someone speaking to you on a recording. And then in that moment, you will have to respond um, in five different sections um, with 20 second responses. You will have an outline of what they're going to say, but you will actually have to improvise the language you need to use and respond um, appropriately to the context. This is worth 12.5% of your overall AP score. So let's look at some tips and tricks for this section. Um, so first of all, this may seem basic, but let's get it right out of the way. The person is going to greet you at the beginning, um, so you want to make sure that you also greet them. Have some pocket vocabulary. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Um, ¿Cómo le va? And similarly, at the end, you can have some pocket vocabulary to help you say goodbye. You could say adios, hasta luego, but to level up, you could use some, some subjunctive, such as espero que te vaya bien. Um, the most important part of the conversation is to make sure to follow the script. So if it asks you to respond to the question with ideas, you need to include concrete ideas when you respond. If it asks you to respond negatively, make sure you respond negatively. So follow that script. Um, when the person asks you questions or asks you to elaborate on ideas, make sure that you're also including specific su suggestions. And here, um, just a specific suggestion is going to allow you to pass the exam, but to level up, you can also include cultural references um, or things that are very specific, like some kind of uh, cultural practice in a Spanish speaking country or reference to literature or music to show your knowledge of the Spanish speaking world. Um, another thing to keep in mind is you want to make sure you speak for that full 20 seconds so you can look on your voice recorder to see how long you have to go, but you really want to try and speak until the beep. Whatever you do, do not leave silence there. Just keep speaking. Um, again, try and remember to use the correct register for your context. So if you're speaking to una abuela o una persona mayor, you want to use usted to show respect in that formality. Whereas if you're speaking to someone your age, um, you can use two. And it's less formal. Um, to level up and not just pass the exam, you want to use connecting phrases to express your ideas, give advice, and respond to questions. If you make some kind of error, go ahead and self-correct. Even on a score of five, it's okay to have some grammar errors. And it's best if you just self-correct and then just keep going. Um, and again, to get out of that three range and into the four or five range, you want to include advanced or more specific vocabulary. So instead of saying, es una cosa interesante, you can say, oh, ese proyecto me parece muy... Uh, innovativo por la comunidad local porque um, puede aumentar el acceso a la educación. So I'm using a bit more academic vocabulary that's more specific, um, using cultural references and idiomatic phrases. So cheat sheet for the conversation. Number one, don't forget to record. Um, underline and take notes during the time you have to look over that outline so you know what the topic is and you can brainstorm words you may need. The actual prompt will be at the top of the page. It'll give you the context of what's happening and that'll help you kind of think about what you may need to say. Number three, identify your audience. So again, are you going to be using usted or two with the person you're talking with? Um, number four, again, follow that script and um, make sure you're responding negatively or positively as it uh, outlines. Number five, fill that entire 20 seconds. Give one to two concrete examples so you keep talking until you hear the beat. Um, sometimes my students may miss a question. Um, try to just guess based on talk context on what's happening and then when the next question comes, just jump right in. Whatever you can do, try and keep speaking um, so you may actually make it kind of work. And then to level up again, try to sneak some subjunctive in. So me parece que, es necesario que, es posible que. And it's good to have some pocket filler words, which are called muletillas, to help you if you get stuck. So pues, like so, o sea, es que, es decir. And last but not least, remember, your grammar doesn't have to be perfect. So self-correct if you miss something and then just keep going. You got this.